stream. We welcome you as well again here at Mohegan Sun. For those members of the press, we'll open it up to questions in just a moment. Let's, uh, let's move right now to opening comments. And for that, of course, the CEO and founder of Bellator MMA, Mr. Bjorn Rebney. Thanks, Mike. Great, great night of fights. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to our partners here at Mohegan. They do an unbelievable job. That was a packed house. No tickets available. Um, just the greatest partners you could hope to have. Not a bad seat in this house. All of our partners from Spike uh, who put this premier show together with us and just did an unbelievable job bringing it to 100 million homes in this country. And, and, um, and the gentleman sitting up at this table with me, I'll start out um, with Daniel. Daniel had come to us as a top prospect out of Europe, uh, absolutely delivered on the goods in a spectacular performance tonight. Um, just couldn't have been more impressed with him. He delivered. The lights made no difference. He just came out and took care of business uh, against a tough customer in Scott Cleave. So, uh, Daniel, congratulations on a big win. Thank you. Yeah, um, this was my first fight for Bellator. I'm pretty happy to be here. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get back in the gym and do it in four weeks again. Um, Jimmy Bins came to me, probably, Jimmy Bins is the manager of, of a Will Martinez, he came to me and said, we got a kid and the kid is going to be spectacular and you got to give him a shot and you got to give this kid an opportunity because he could beat some of the best fighters in the world. And he's had five fights here and he's won every single one of those five fights. And tonight, um, against a guy who came incredibly highly ranked, incredibly well touted in, in Godi, a guy who'll be back who's 21 years old, who will be back fighting for this organization at an incredibly high level. He's a wickedly talented fighter, but uh, Will Martinez, just a spectacular performance tonight against a guy who um, just has all the credentials in the world. Great, great win tonight. Thank you, thank you. You know, I said going into the fight that I was going to push the whole fight. It's been uh, a little bit over three years that I had someone test me uh, like he test me, and that's what I wanted, and that's that's what he gave me, and that's that's what I, man, I could have kept fighting all night. Uh, and uh, I want to thank Bellator for the opportunity, my manager, and everyone that got me here. Thank you. É, primeiramente, é, pedir desculpa a todos que estavam confiando na, na minha vitória e todos que estavam envolvidos na minha preparação, na minha luta. Tive alguns problemas que não estava esperando na semana da luta, mas nada que tire o mérito do meu adversário. Ele foi melhor do que eu hoje e eu vou voltar, vou voltar muito mais forte. I want to say sorry to everybody who came out here and believed in me tonight. Um, I had some problems. I don't mean to discredit uh, Will Martinez. He had a good uh, fight tonight. But I'll be back, and I'll be back stronger. And, and uh, Des Green, um, Mike Richmond is a, a very, very talented fighter who had an unbelievable knockout, for, has had a series of unbelievable knockouts for us, had an incredible knockout for us on the November 2nd show, uh, which was the highest rated show we've ever had as a company. But Des, uh, good win tonight against a very, very high caliber guy. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Yeah, um, going to this fight, you know, my manager told me that Mike Richmond, I knew he was a tough opponent. I knew he made it to the finals. And um, really, I'm new to Bellator, and I wanted to make a statement. I wanted to go out there and, you know, let people know that I'm not just a wrestler. I do know how to strike also. And I uh, just really dominate thanks to uh, my team, everybody. I had about 40 people come up from Rochester for support and love. So uh, thank you. Thank everybody. Well, I was just, uh, you know, on uh, the wrong end of a close fight. And we'll see what's next for me with Bellator and uh, go from there. And uh, sometimes I get, uh, most of the time I'm working, and then sometimes I get an opportunity just to sit back and watch an unbelievable fight. And Diego's fight against Matt was just an unbelievable fight. Two great warriors putting it all on the line, just a back and forth fight that just, if you're a fan of MMA, you got to love what you saw there. Um, this is a spectacular champion, a great fighter who will be back fighting in our cage in no time. 
I was thrilled to be able to sign this guy, and he has just got talent to spare um, and just ended up on the wrong side today. I'm in a spectacular fight, Matt. Great, great work beating a hugely talented fighter tonight. Congratulations on a big win in front of what sounded like 30,000 fans of yours. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Um, again, thank you, Diego, for the fight. Uh, fighting such a tough guy um, who's highly respected was uh, such an honor, and uh, I couldn't be happier right now. Thank you, Bjorn, for the opportunity. Boa noite. Eu quero agradecer primeiramente ao Bela Torre, primeiramente a Deus pela oportunidade de mudar minha vida ao evento, ao Bela Torre, por estar me dando esse prestígio, entendeu? Por toda a minha carreira. Eu agradeço do fundo do meu coração e faz parte, méritos para o meu adversário. Eu deveria ter me esforçado um pouquinho mais, faz parte. É aprendizado e estamos aí, a gente é guerreiro, a gente não existe nunca. Tem uma frase no Brasil que diz assim, a gente é brasileiro, a gente não existe nunca. First of all, I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to fight and also Bellator for giving me the show, um, the stage to showcase my talent. This is part of the game, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But there's a saying in Brazil that we're Brazilians and we don't give up. So I'm moving forward and I'll be back. Uh, there's a there's a saying in the in the combat sports business, and it's that styles make fights. And sometimes styles give you um, just a majestic, incredible performance, com combative brilliance, unbelievable fights. And sometimes stylistically, fights um, don't exactly turn out the way you would have uh, anticipated or scripted them. Um, that's no fault of the combatants. Mikhail Zayat and King Mo were both wickedly talented fighters. They just didn't. Um, stylistically match up tonight that gave us the kind of um, combat that we might have been looking for. But a great win by King Mo. I said it going in. Uh, Zayats is an incredibly tough customer, one of the best light heavyweights we've got in this entire organization. Um, he will be back here, and he will be performing at an incredible level. He typically finishes fight after fight after fight. So um, congratulations, Mo, on a good win. And Mikael, we'll see you back in short order, all right? Спасибо большое, что организация Белатор предоставила мне участвовать в этом гран-при, где были собраны четыре лучших бойца этого дивизиона. Бой проигран, но война за пояс продолжается. Thank you, Belator, uh, that uh, uh, it organization give me chance fight with uh, the best fighters of this tournament. Uh, I lose fight, but war for belt, uh, not stop. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Let me give a shout out to Reebok, my sponsors and them, you know what I'm saying? A lot of egg whites and nutrition zone. And my people over there, uh, Lady Top and Big Red, you know what I'm saying, TNA stars, they came out to support me. But, uh, you know, <clears throat> The fight could have been better, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, beyond, you got to change that canvas, man. Because people, you know, people were slipping, I was slipping. And I could, I feel like I could perform better, but I couldn't get my footing right. But hopefully, you know what I'm saying, y'all get, get this canvas thing settled. Because when me and Rampage bang, it's, it's going to be good. Trust me. Uh, and in the last fight of the night, our main event, uh, first I want to thank Christian Mpumbu. Um, given what this gentleman showed in his first fight, the gentleman stand, uh, sitting to my left, um, there were not a lot of people who were terribly excited about being in this four-man and being opposite him in the first round. Christian Mpumbu, our, our former champion, stepped up. There was not a moment's hesitation. He wanted the fight stylistically. He thought it was a fight he could win, prepared for it. Um, came in and, and was on the losing end of the fight, but a guy that um, we will have back here in very short order, a guy that I've got great confidence in, he's got great hands, a tremendously talented fighter. Um, Quentin and I had a, had a plan and put that plan into motion a number of months ago. 
Um, and that plan was to slowly but surely rebuild and get back to a place where I believed he could be and he thought he could be. And uh, you saw it in the first fight and you saw it in this fight in a dramatic, spectacular finish, um, which is what we all grew to love when we started watching him when he was at the top of the game. And it's my belief he will, has great potential to get right back to the top of the game. So congratulations on a, a great performance tonight. Just a spectacular finish. Another highlight real knockout. Congratulations. Bonsoir à tout le monde. Euh, je me suis entraîné dur pour, euh, pour ce combat. Et... Hello to everyone. I train very hard for this fight. Mais malheureusement, dans, comme dans chaque combat, euh, la seule erreur que j'ai euh, faite, euh, bah, ça m'a coûté euh, très très cher. But unfortunately, um, the, 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 the one mistake I made. Um, caused me all the all the fight and um, I'm so sorry. What mistake was that? Mais c'est je vais pas jeter l'éponge pour autant. Euh, je vais continuer à m'entraîner euh, dur euh, comme j'ai l'habitude de le faire et euh, et remonter la pente parce que euh, là c'est je suis sur une mauvaise pente là. Um, I'm not giving up. Um, Rampage did good. He is a good fighter, and I'm coming back. I'm, 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 I have three defeats, and I'm, I will make sure that that change. Uh, before I, I um, get started, I, you know, I just want to tell Christian Mpumbu that uh, you know he's a very good fighter, but his only mistake was saying that he was going to retire me. Uh, I don't take kind of to words like that. It just does something to me, and it and it makes me just have one objective that's to, to hurt you. So uh, you're a very good fighter, but I just you know saying for you know I'm just glad you didn't get hurt too bad. Just if we ever fight again, please don't say nothing like that because I might try to kill you next time. I don't like people saying they're gonna retire me and stuff like that. People think that because I had some knee problems, they can go and kick my knee. I see them try to kick my knee backwards and and stuff like that. You know, you guys wasting your time. You know, I heal the knees up, they're good. I'm getting them stronger. And I just want to show everybody that, um, you know, I'm here to stay. I still got a few more years in me. I'm training smarter now, now that I'm older and stuff like that. And I'm, I haven't lost my, my speed yet and haven't lost my strength. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to, I'm ready to do everybody in. King Mo finna learn next. He gonna learn next. I'm coming over here. I'm taking over Bellator. I'm gonna win this tournament. And I'm gonna keep going. And I want to thank my sponsor, Monster Energy Drink, for believing in me. I want to thank my team, Wolf Lair. I want to thank my coaches, Antonio McKee, Dave Jackson, my sparring partner, Coach uh, Gavin Stewart, uh, one of my sparring partners, uh, uh, um, Travis Clark, and uh, Fabiano Eha, my coach that couldn't be here, Tom Blacklegs. Thank you guys for training me hard and, um, you know what I'm saying, kicking my ass in the gym every day. I know I'm a lot to deal with. I want to thank my nutritionist, um, uh, Edwina Cheer. And uh, I know I'm, I'm a lot to put up with, man. I, I thank you guys for sticking with me. And, and all my, my fans, my true fans, the, the ones that still believe in me, the ones who still ride with me, I got more good stuff for, the, you know, for coming in, in the future to show you guys what's up. I'm here to excite everybody. You know, much love to everybody. Thanks, Bellator, for, you know, giving me another shot and making me love uh, my sport again. And much uh, better stuff here to come. Yeah, Rampage talking about I'm going to learn next. Only thing I'm gonna learn is what it feels like to get my next win. Mark that. May 9th is going down, Rampage, for real, man. I'm gonna stop you. Straight up. Stop me with what, Mo? You're gonna see, though. Stop me with what? See. All you're you gonna, gonna do is try to take me down? That's all you're gonna do. Rampage, I'm training with Antonio McKee, hey. the best wrestler in MMA, and he's barely taking me down right now. It's like, he ain't taking me down right now, homie. McKee, when's the last time you fight? You ain't fighting in a while. He ain't, last time I checked, he ain't fighting. And he don't got he a coach. coach. He's coaching me. And I see your hands. They ain't that nice, though. They, they heavy. That, look at your lip. Look at your lip. Look what homeboy did to your lip. Look at your lip. Man, you like your, you, you, you like one of the characters from The Simpsons, homie. And you try to talk bad to me. How you think your lip go look when I get to it? You ain't gonna touch me, dog. Watch. All you right. can have the people laughing. You can go ahead and laugh, you know what I'm saying? I can go ahead and you're laugh. You talking about you slipping on the, on the cage I, I, and stuff I'm like that. I'm what excuse you gonna, what I'm excuse you gonna bring when, 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 I, when I slip and hit you I'm, in your dog, face? You're too, you're too slow. I'm too slow. You're too slow. Dog, you slow with the capital S. 
I saw you. Slow. You couldn't even take. You couldn't take Slow. homeboy down tonight. Slow. Look hey, at you. I'll what take you, you down. Tra- watch me. I watch. bet you don't take me down. Watch. I bet you I do. Hey. I bet you I do. Hey. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. Bet. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. You leave broke. You gonna be broke. You gonna leave broke. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. Hey, cause I know Reebok ain't paying you. That's why I ain't dealing with him. Winner takes all. I'm with Monster, homie. We get paid. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. All right. Y'all heard it. Yeah. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard that. Winner takes all. Winner takes all. Don't come with no excuses neither. You can't get into Canada. I hope you can get. Hey, Bella told you better make sure it gets to Canada too. All the fights in Canada. Yeah, it's in Canada. Y'all better make sure it gets to Canada. Yeah, I can't get Canada. Then change the, change that, change it then, change it then. Have it in California. No, 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 no. Why you don't go to my hometown, Memphis, man? Let me whoop. Let's go to Memphis. Let's go to Memphis. Let's go to Memphis. Man, we would sell out the FedEx farm. Memphis. I can't get to Canada unless you get. Can't go to Canada. That's what's up. Let's go to Memphis then. Ain't lying about that. I can't. I already knew that. That's what I'm saying. Let's go to Memphis then. Hey, hey, tell me, how you know I can't get into Canada? Because I know. Trust me, I know these things. I ain't dumb. Man, hear that lip up. Hear that lip up. It's gonna be a for you, Mr. Spar. Hear that lip up. I can fight you tomorrow. I can fight you right now, dog. Straight up. Oh. Hey, is the cage still up? I, I, my, I, I only went like three minutes. Is the cage still up? Let's go. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, what's up, there? What's up? Let's go. All right, cool. What's up, man? What's up, man? Get the club. Get the club. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, boys. No, no, I know you're a joke. I know you're a joke. I know you're a joke. Nah, I'm gonna bust your ass. Watch. I'm gonna bust your ass. What? Keep talking. I'm talking. Keep talking. I'm talking. You digging your own grave, homie. Dig what grave? You digging your own grave, homie. Keep talking. You trying to bully somebody? Bully for what? For what? Bully for what? I don't gotta bully nobody. I let I let my I let my talking happen in the cage, homie. What did I say? I didn't say nothing. He told me you're retiring me. I ain't say nothing. I ain't bullying nobody. I ain't bullying nobody. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Finish it up. Finish it up. Right? Then we got pressure done. All right. I ain't playing with him, Pop. I ain't playing with him. Any questions? And so with that, for those members of the press, if you have any questions, we'll take those now. We do have to limit it to only those members of the press. So uh, we'll start here. First question. Joe Leonard, Western Mass of May. Thank you, Bjorn, Bjorn for having us again. Uh, my question is for Rampage. Uh, Rampage, what was it like to uh, have an opponent who refused to come across the cage to you and refused to engage you for a better part of the first round until you imposed your will on him? Well, uh, Christian Mbudu, he talked, he talked a, a lot of smacks. He was going to retire me and stuff, but... He didn't really try to back it up. He was just trying to stay away, which is probably um, smart on his behalf because, you know what I'm saying, he really he really pissed me off, and I was just waiting to take his head off. But he had a good strategy. I can tell he's a good fighter. He, he has good striking skills. He had, you know, he's had, he has good kicks and, and good setups. He was just playing a smart smart game. I, I, I take nothing from him. But, you know me, I like to have exciting fights. I like, for the, I like for it to be a dog fight the whole time. But, you know, sometimes your opponents don't, they don't feel the same way you feel, so. You know, I can't get mad at him. He, he fought a smart fight. Two questions for Bjorn. First off, do you have an attendance number on tonight, and do you have a date on when Rampage and Mel will fight? Uh, we, I don't have an official uh, number for tonight, but I know it was sold out. And, uh, and I, I got a lot of thoughts running through my head um, in terms of when this fight will happen. It, it definitely won't be in Canada. So... <laughs> <laughs> We we take that to the bank, but I think we'll probably make an official announcement on the co-main event when we uh, when we announce the location, you know, and, and date. So I probably give us about another four or five days. I can give you time. Um, you said something to Christian after you knocked him out. I was just wondering what you told, what you were saying to him. Well, actually, uh, that was Rampage there in the cage. I, I, this is Quinn right now, so I really don't don't know. I have to go back and watch. Uh, you know, if I said any profanity or anything, I'm, I apologize because really that's not me. But what did it look like I said? Uh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> you know, they, they, they probably know now to turn the mic off or something when I get in there talking and stuff. Right and a question for Bjorn. Um, I didn't get to see the telecast sitting ringside, but 
Uh, did you say when you, you said the date was May 17th for the trilogy fight, but right. was there a location or do you guys have an indication of where the where the location might be at this point? We've got three different options we're looking at right now. Probably, like I said, probably four or five days away from making the announcement on the location. But we've got we've got two that are really exciting and one that's a great backup, but two that are really exciting. We've got to look at what happened tonight and then make some decisions. Your thank you. We've got time for just one or two more questions. My question's for uh, King Mo, Jason Gotti with Ring Fever. Um, I've got two questions. One question is, uh, did the fans uh, get in your head tonight when they were booing you to earn your fight, um, or were you able to keep your composure? It seems like you executed your game plan. You got the unanimous decision win. I'm going to keep it real with you. You know, um, that was my best performance. But when the fans are booing, fuck the fans. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight up. You know, the fans that keep it real, that, that come, watch, come watch this fight, I'm cool with it, but the ones that are booing, they ain't in there doing what we're doing. So for those that are booing, straight up fuck them. Denny Siggins, I write for uh, Five Ounces. I have a question for Matt Bissett and Des Green. Um, hey, congratulations, guys. We've seen you fight here in New England for quite some time. Des and Matt, tell me what it's like to be in a tournament because I know you fought the bulk of your careers at 155. You're now fighting at a lighter weight at 145. What's it like to maintain that weight, that conditioning, and what's the difference between that and what you've done in the past? Well, for me, um, I'm naturally a smaller guy anyway. I was fighting bigger guys at 155, and um, I was throwing their weight around, and it was, it was a little bit more tiring. So now that I'm at 145, it's, uh, this is a fit, and... Uh, you know, I, I don't get up too heavy anyway, so um, it was it was a long time coming, and uh, it's definitely a fit. I'm I'm two and zero here, and uh, I was two and zero at the catch weight of 150, and uh, you know I got a bright future at 145, I think. Um, yeah, me being a wrestler, the, uh, I mean I do, I'm not gonna lie, I'm I'm tall, almost six foot, and I fight at featherweight. I cut a lot of weight, but I I really don't feel it. I know how to wrestle. I know all the ins and outs. So, um, and I do it healthy, and I hydrate right back. So, uh, it's like my third time down at 45. It's getting, every time it gets easier and easier. So, uh, yeah, I, don't, I really don't um, feel the weight cut. And I actually feel healthy. You know, I feel bigger, stronger than all my opponents. I think if you shaved your head, you can get to 135. Yeah, actually, yesterday I was about a pound over about a, a half hour before, and I'm like, man, they need to give me at least a pound a weight allowance for my dreads. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much, and thank you for the questions. Bjorn, back to you for closing comments. Uh, I have a lot to say to follow up on this, but uh, just a great night of fights, spectacular performances by these guys, exciting fights to come in the featherweight division, and also the final of our light heavyweight tournament. Thanks again to Mohegan and to our partners at Spike, and thank you guys for coming out. Gentlemen, thank you very much. And for those that are with us, the casino floor is open. 300,000 square feet of gaming space. We'll see you out there. And for everybody, have a good night. Thanks for joining us at Bellator MMA.